Hi, I'm Jason Jones, and I'm going to read an introduction from my book, Needle. Um, and thank you, Jack, for so long listening. That this book means so much to me. So, the section I'm going to read is quite close to the beginning. The main character is called Jali, which is 15, and Ali is her foster mom, which lives with Ali. Ali's got a son called Blake. He's at uni, so I've got his own room. I know he's not happy with that. He wants it food when he comes back here. Still, the third bedroom, he sleeps in, isn't that small? At least he doesn't have to share that. Me and Candy, they were until we got separated. Last time Blake was here, Annie made him must have worn clothes, the same way I had to. I heard him arguing, and he said, I'm your mother, not the slave, Blake. You know how the washing machine works. Blake acted like it was my fault she was making him do this. Despite him seeing me unloaded my clothes and coming over the garden to dry. Alice been helping me with dinosaur research. He went to the library and found a whole load of books with pictures of dinosaurs in them. Then she found some small toy dinosaurs in an old box in the cupboard in the loft. They used to belong to Blake when he was a kid. Last week, me and Annie spent a couple of evenings watching the Jurassic Park films. We thought about watching the Jurassic World films too, but didn't. Annie said that she didn't want to ruin her memory of the originals. And me, like I said, I'm just not into dinosaurs. But I want to make sure I get everything right for candy. I can't knit a real sized dinosaur. Annie hasn't got a ladder that sort and a pocket that big to buy all that wool. I'm making my little sister a kind of blanket that she can wrap around herself with a dinosaur hood to pull over her head. Because man, you want to know what one of Candy's favourite things? It was when we wriggled under the covers with all of her bed that I would use my phone torch to read her favourite dinosaur books. We even kept doing it when she could read them herself. I miss Candy so much. Right now, Annie's downstairs eating dinner. I told her I'm too stressed and I didn't want nothing to eat. She said the food's waiting in the fridge when I'm ready. I can stick it in the microwave, but I should bring it up here to my bedroom. Annie had a foster kid a couple of years ago that stored bone nuts in a wardrobe, and the place ended up full of mice. No food, just knitting. I need to close my eyes and feel the stitches of this slip from one needle to the other. I need to click, click, click. When you're knitting, there's no silence until you finish it. Click, click. I hope my heart comes down soon. Click, click, click. If I knit too fast, the stitches are going to drop and there's going to be holes. I don't want that. If there's holes, I'll have to start again. Click. And it's working. It's slowing me down, even though I don't like the way this cheap wool feels. When I was a kid, I picked up a stone and there was a slug stuck to it. The slug fell into my hand and I screamed. The ball reminds me of that feeling, except it's not wet and slimy. My last social worker, Wanda, bought the wall for me out of her own money before she left and started training to be a teacher. I'm really grateful. I just wish it didn't feel so weird. But this is the candy, so I'm going to make myself use it. My stomach just rumbled, the slimy, and the hungry. Click, 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 click. I'm going too fast again. I want my knitting to make me stop thinking about what happened in that shot earlier. It's a thing that's breaking out today. I need to lose my version of the story. She's even cooked macaroni and cheese for dinner because she knows it's my favourite. She wants me to feel better. And he said that no stuck up security guards in a makeup store is going to make her feel bad about me. But maybe me swearing didn't help. And he said, and she reckoned it would be much easier if I just said sorry. Thank you.